What is up, everybody? Did my voice just crack? Uh, So June is, uh, I guess, National Audiobook Month or Worldwide Audiobook Month or it's Audiobook Month of some sort. So I figured uh, I've been doing this for a little bit and I figured I would do a uh, little video of me in the booth working through part of a chapter. I'm not going to have a video of me doing this for a full hour (laughs) or whatever, but just a little segment of this so everyone can kind of see what I do in here and uh, I've been doing this since mm, what October August August of last year and so I'm still re- I'm still relatively new still green I am working on my eighth audiobook right now um, if you count the Peter Powers books you know it would be over that but I, I would lump those into maybe one book. So I would say maybe this would be my ninth book. But um, so since I'm still relatively new, I know a lot of audiobook narrators that I follow on Facebook and Instagram and, and all that kind of stuff, they use a punch and roll method, which means they are, if they mess up, they go back and re-record over it. Um, in order for me to kind of stay in the flow of the narration, I use what's called the clicker method. And since I'm a pretty fast editor, I will edit later. So, and I'm totally fine with that. I'm pretty quick at editing um, since that's originally one of the things that I went to college for. So, uh, I'm fine with the clicker method. I see all the mistakes. I'm able to kind of trim them out quickly, and then I do a kind of a pass-through and kind of tighten things up. So, that's what I'll be doing. Um, I'm sure if any veteran audiobook narrators watch this, they will not like the clicker method. Everyone says I should be doing punch and roll, but that will happen. (laughs) I just have to get comfortable in the booth here. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to do this. This book is called Infertat. And it's an interesting, interesting book. Um, See, I'm already self-editing myself. As it is written by some uh, siblings from, I think, originally from the Ukraine. I think one of them may still live there. Um, So this was an exercise that they used basically to help... um, teach themselves or help learn English. So um, it's a very fantastic story. I love the story. There are certain elements that seem to have gotten lost in translation a little bit here and there. Like there's some thes that are missing, some us, things like that. So as I'm narrating, uh, I kind of will try to fill those in. So um, I didn't mark up this very much. So I didn't mark all those up. So I kind of I don't know. Anyway, I'm talking way too much. I'm going to consider that my warm-up, I guess. So I'll be looking this way. Hope that's okay. And, uh, you know, <laughs> hopefully you guys do that. I don't know why this keeps going. This keeps going on the autofocus thing. I wonder if I can turn that off. Oh, follow my face. No, right side line. Autofocus. No. Turn autofocus off. Okay. Here we go. So this is chapter 22. I have, uh, there's 29 chapters in this book. I'm at the tail end of this. So let's go, uh, let's go for it. Um, You know what? This is a character I haven't done in a bit. So I need to go to my character voices. And I need to take a listen at the first character's voice. I have a little audio library full of voice. And that is not an option. And that, okay. And that is not an option. All right, here we go. I really hope this is entertaining for you guys. So I don't use headphones when I record. I find that if I hear too much and I make too many stops, I kind of just want to go any edits or noises or anything I need to edit out, I'll we'll do that do that later. I'm I want to try to stay in the moment uh with this. So here we go. Let me make sure I'm recording here. It'd be awful if I started this and I wasn't recording at all. Okay. Part four Last Chance Chapter twenty two Chapter twenty two Samael's visit Fools! Don't they understand the need to act? How is it that they are content with waiting? 
How is it that they are content with waiting? Samael fumed. He could not he could not understand how the leaders of the crystal he could not understand how the leaders of the he could not understand how the leaders of the crystal cloaks and his archangel brethren remained calm in the face of this calamity. True, it has not always been that long. Uh, true, it has not been all that long since the Eternal's disappearance. Only eleven months passed. Only eleven months passed, but sure, it was enough to at least begin to worry. Unless they managed to cover their worry up well enough. How did... How did he wish he could grab one of them and... How did he... How did he wish he could grab one of them and gaze deep into their soul to see the truth? It was becoming harder to maintain his neutrality. Thoughts that should have not been... Thoughts that should not have been there kept entering Samael's mind more often. After all, what was the point of keeping up the charade... After all, what was the point of keeping up the charade of order when Verdigrid was missing its leader? Actually, all existence lost its creator. What could be significant enough to keep the Eternal away this long? Was this how Lucifer felt before he re... Was this how Lucifer felt before he rebelled? No. He rejected that thought. Lucifer was weak, spoiled, and selfish. The whole notion of controlling humans' decisions during their short lifespans was nonsense. He could not even understand the appeal of... He could not even understand the appeal of angels experiencing humans' physical reality. Samael had enough experience from the reaping alone. No matter how... No matter how short their lifespan was, humans managed to pack a full... Humans managed to pack a bag full of events in it. How short the, so this is one of the lost in translation things. <laughs> Trying to. No matter how short their lifespan was, humans managed to pack a bag full of. Okay, okay, okay I, I give this same. Give this same. No matter how short their lifespan was, humans managed to pack a bag full of events in it. It all, it all flashed before his eyes as he separated their essence. It all flashed before his eyes as he separated their essence from its mortal shell by transitioning them through the portal to Verdigrid. He couldn't fathom actually wanting to be there alongside their every decision. The point was that he and his brethren were above the mortal existence. They were made to be above it. So why did some of them... So why did some of them feel the need to descend to such carnal levels? He could understand how demons could have some sort of fun by giving humans ideas and waiting to see what happens, but only be there and observe, with no interference but occasional guidance. Hmm. He's asking a bunch of questions here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Some of these books, especially like the more independent ones, you can tell that they needed to go through another round of editing. Um, but my job is to make sure this flows as an audiobook. So um, I did let my proofer know that there will be some changes to the text as I narrate. So that's what's, that's what's happening here. I'm trying to wrap my brain around, you know, how should this sound? <laughs> How can I get any demons? I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> he could understand how demons could have some... He could understand how demons could have some sort of fun by giving humans ideas and waiting to see what happens. But only be there and observe with... No interference but occasional guidance? He couldn't fathom the appeal of that. It would be like humans wanting to experience what would feel like... It would be like humans 
wanting to experience what would feel like living... It would be like humans wanting to experience what it would feel like living life as one of the lesser... It would be like humans wanting to experience what would feel like... See, we're missing a word here. Uh, humans wanting to experience what it... It would be like humans wanting to experience what it would feel like living life as one of the lesser mammal, mammals. I keep wanting to say animals. It would be like humans wanting to experience what it would feel like living life as one of the lesser mammals. Why would any of them care about what it... Why would any of them care what it felt like... Why would any of them care about what it felt like to be a bear, for example? Then... He had to laugh at his own joke. Truth be told, he had a sense... Truth be told, he had sensed similar desires in many humans he had reaped. Many wished to try and live their lives as another creature, human or... Human... Human or otherwise. Was that one of the... Was that one of the things Eternal had intended when he created their psyche? He would never know that, but what he did know is that he wanted no part of that. He was content with reaping, and his team of reapers felt the same. They had to, they had to, to avoid temptations. It was better that way, and it made it easier to keep order. Things could spin out of control very fast. Mainly, when there was no one to keep things running smooth, like now. All right, I'm going to stop here and stop the video because I can keep on going. I'm probably going to be on this chapter for another 20, 30 minutes. But there's a little taste of what I'm doing here in the booth. Um, the goal is for me to ditch the clicker. The, the goal is for me to kind of be able to get through a good chunk with minimal hiccups. Um, I don't know. Everyone has their own way of doing it. I'm told not to worry about doing it as perfectly. Um, but this is, this method, I, I like this method. It works for me. But, um, but we'll see. We'll see where I go from here. Like I said, I'm, I'm really, really new at this. So, uh, I'm just grateful to even have, I think I'm lined up with, uh, projects throughout the rest of the year. So, I'm just grateful to even be doing this, um, in my off hours when I'm, when I'm not at my day job. And, um, so thank you for watching. Um, hope this kind of gets, for those of you who don't see me doing this, hope you guys, you know, this was a little window into the booth. Those of you who are, uh, my, uh, my clan of audio, uh, book narrators that I'm going to post this to, thank you guys for being, uh, such a support, <laughs> support group as I've been doing this. And I, I really hope to be doing this for, for a long time. And I'm really hoping to, uh, to ditch the day job and, uh, and start doing this full time. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Thank you for watching. Where's where's the off button? Too many screens. <laughs> All right.